later that night I ended up spark, uh, spiking a fever and developed pretty severe body aches, um, pretty bad chest and upper back pain. That um, it wasn't chest pain like you worry about your heart. It was more like it hurt to breathe in all the way. It was kind of like they described it like an inflammatory pain. Um, and that was pretty severe along with a headache. So I had, those were my main symptoms. Um, I was pretty fatigued and all of those hung around for a number of days. And then once the fever broke, I started feeling a lot better. It was like I could have eaten anything or smelled the worst smell and I would have no idea. I didn't even have the hint of taste or smell for a long time. That lasted probably the longest. My husband actually had that too. And we were so thankful. It was weeks before we were able to taste anything. I still struggle getting short of breath with exertion. Like I'm usually a runner and I haven't really been able to do that. Um, my lungs quite <laughs> don't feel ready for that. But um, feeling normal, feeling myself again, I'd say it was about 14 days from when I started feeling ill. I didn't think I required emergency care by any means, so I was thankful. I had my sister here with me and my husband, and they took great care of me. And yeah, I was concerned at first, but I knew I'd be okay sticking it out at home. It really just felt like we were benched or like sidelined in the middle of this huge healthcare uh, phenomenon, and we're very well educated, but at this point underqualified to be able to jump in and help in any real way. Um, so a lot of us spoke about wanting to find ways that we can help. Um, we've looked at different volunteer programs or um, donating PPE. Um, but a lot of us just felt really helpless, like we were able to help, but we couldn't really contribute in a real way. So when I learned about this plasma donation program, I thought, Finally, there's something I can do that's beneficial to others. I can finally help in some small way, give back at this point. I grew up in West Michigan. I went to school both for undergrad and grad school in West Michigan. And being able to contribute and give back and serve the people who have helped me get to the point where I've gotten in life so far is huge for me.